So let's take a look at some of the positive elements of our draft technology integration policy. First, um, we're going to look at the, the vision statement. And as I said before, it is an important part of this um, document. And we have a policy statement and it's um, it, it has an adequately developed vision statement, one of the most important aspects of any ICT integration policy. An effective vision mission statement conveys the collective understanding and beliefs of the school community about the manner in which ICT impacts the process of learning. While AMDSB identifies their vision statement as a policy statement, it reflects the school's understanding that ICT is part of student growth, academically, physically, and emotionally, as you can actually see in the statement itself. And, um, and that ICT plays an important part in preparing students to be productive citizens of the 21st century. The next part that I mentioned before was also that there is um, inclusion of parents in this, but obviously we need to do uh, quite a bit of work here to develop this part a little bit more. Uh, the aims and the goals are another area that uh, is a positive for this particular draft policy. And um, it's reflective of effective ICT policies in that it is um, uh, it articulates goals that are structured broadly and uh, they speak to long-term achievements, but it lacks explicit statements that concretely describe outcomes, criteria related to the outcomes that assess the value of other policies and precise measures of functional criteria. The lack of these components makes it harder for AMDSB to prioritize and determine whether they will meet their objectives. And uh, the presence of a problem to solve. So, up in this area here at the top, um, it, this sort of communicates to us that there is a problem to solve. And that's an important part of, uh, of a policy. That's really what the policy should hinge upon and, and the vision should be developed as a result of that. There is a connection to teaching and learning and uh, that's found also in this top part under the rationale. It also is found under the aims for students and there's also a provision for technology support. So in terms of uh, enough technology to be able to achieve the outcomes. So there are provisions for that. And they're right here under support structure. So banks of laptops, ongoing investment into school-based digital devices, a makerspace, the use of the school's network. A network is subject to the um, acceptable users agreement. And uh, it also makes a provision for inappropriate use of technology. There is a role for leaders, as I said before. Again, it, had, it would have to be more developed than it currently is. Um, there's something here for principals. And then up in the aims area, there is also provision here for leadership. And leadership isn't necessarily just related to principals. It can also be to uh, ICT coordinators and teachers.